What's up, y'all? This your girl, Lady Tarot T, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. What's the T on your bum ass ex? Okay. And I know, I know, before some of y'all say, we don't want to know what's going on. Well, guess what? Some people do. And even though that is your bum ass ex, a lot of y'all nosy, just like me. And we want to know. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's get into it. We got six cards for y'all to choose from. I'm not going to put any stones. The timestamps will be down below. Let's get into it. For those of you who decided to choose card one, what's the T on your bum ass X? We got reflecting. Ooh, so your bum ass X is... <laughs> They're reflecting. They're trying to... I feel like whenever I see this card, it reminds me of the hermit. So they're going within. They're withdrawing. They could be by themselves, spending time alone, okay? Trying to reflect, trying to um, heal, okay? Maybe. Um, they're definitely... For some, they may be doing... Like, trying to meditate as well. Because that's what I get a, a vibe whenever I see this card. It makes me feel like... This person is trying to tap into, um, they're trying to tap into subconsciousness or like they're trying to tap more into their intuition. They're really trying to, um, tap more into their spirituality. That's the energy that I'm picking up whenever I see this card. Um, so let's grab a tarot card along with this and let's see what's the T on your bum ass X. What's the T on your bum ass X? We got the two of cups. So this person is reflecting on a situation, on a connection, on a relationship, on a partnership. This could be a past partnership, past connection. Maybe even the connection that they had with you. It doesn't matter. Take whatever resonates. But they're definitely reflecting on a time when they were in a connection. They could be reflecting, because that's what I'm hearing. This person is reflecting on a time when they were connecting with the opposite sex. Yeah, partnership. Yes, or they could be thinking on entering a partnership but yeah nonetheless they're definitely doing some sort of reflecting them they are by themselves they're taking some time out and yeah they could be trying to manifest um a relationship or manifest a partner but that's the t on your bum ass x okay yeah um so, if this reading resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose card two, what's the T on your bum ass X? Ooh, creativity. Interesting. So, your bum ass X likes to steal others' ideas. They like to copy others. This person is not original. Um... Yeah, this person likes to copy off of others. Um, your bum ass ex feeds off of you. That could be for some of you, okay? This person may be known to be an energy vampire. Um, but I'm also getting like you inspire them, okay? That's what I'm picking up. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Like you inspire them in some way, okay? So they look to you for ideas. It's like... You're their muse. That's what I'm picking up. Um, so, yeah. This <laughs> this is the T on your bum ass ex. They definitely could be copying or trying to steal your ideas, your work. They're trying to duplicate or copy what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe something creative. Okay? It could be that maybe you have... I don't know why I'm hearing for some of you. This could be maybe for one particular person. But I'm hearing like... You have, or maybe you recently started, um, maybe a YouTube channel or um, 
Facebook or something with online and this person is trying to do the same thing, yeah, like they're trying to copy copy you or piggyback off of you, maybe use you for clout, but they're stealing your work or stealing your ideas, okay? In some way, form, or fucking fashion, this person, <laughs> they're not original. They don't have, uh, I'm hearing, a creative bone in their fucking body. They're getting all of their... Um, creativity from you in some way. So they could be watching you. So again, if you have any ideas, maybe some business ideas, I don't know, maybe if you want to start a little business or um, maybe you have a hobby, something creative or something that you're doing, this person is fucking trying to steal your ideas. So just keep that in mind and um, keep your head on the fucking swivel when it comes to putting out... Um, you know, information or letting people know what you're doing or something like that. I just get like this person, your bum ass ex is trying to steal from you, you know, on a creative level in some way. Um, but that's the, uh, that's the T on your bum ass ex. Let's grab, um, an Oracle. I mean, um, a tarot card. I don't know why I'm getting like, maybe you have a little small business, maybe you're making clothes, or you have some ideas, and just be careful, okay, that your bum ass ex is trying to steal from you in some way, it is what it is, we got the five of fucking wands, yeah, periods, periods, I'm telling you, I can't make this shit up, this person sees you as a fucking, comp they see you as competition, okay, they see your pressure, pressure okay your pressure and this person knows it they see you as fucking competition okay they definitely see you as fucking competition period yeah interesting wow five of wands conflict interesting yeah i'm hearing competition this person sees you as competition and there's a lot of conflict or argumentative energy. Drama. Period. Like, that's what I'm picking up. So maybe this person, maybe they're known to... Uh, maybe they're known to just be... Very messy, or like they're known to just keep shit going. They love to stir the pots. That's the energy that I'm picking up. Your pressure is what I'm hearing spirits say, like your pressure for them. And they see you as a fucking, they see you as competition. They don't like it. So. They may even try to start uh, um, argue, an argument with you or maybe even want to fight, physically fight. That's the energy that I'm picking up. A lot of conflict, drama surrounding this person or drama that comes with this person. So, we're going to leave it there, okay? That's the T on your bum ass X. So, if this one resonated with you in any way, y'all already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. For those of you who chose card three, what's the T on your bum ass X? Let's get into it. Ooh, girl fights, arguments, physical fights at war competing this kind of reminds me of the last um card that i flipped over just the tarot that was the five of wands but here we got girl fight some sort of conflict or competition so maybe the t on your exes maybe they're always surrounded by conflict they're at war they could be competing um, this person also might like to fight as well, or they like to argue a lot, okay? Um, they're known to physically fight as well. Maybe, yeah, I'm hearing, like, fights, arguments, 
like they're always at war, okay? That's the energy. Or maybe they always have people fighting around them or for them. Um, yeah, it's like that's what I'm getting. It's either one or the other, okay? Um, either they like to cause drama and pick fights and arguments and be at war with others or they like when other people fight for them and be at war about them a lot of physical um again sort of like the five of wands is what i'm picking up um energy so that's the t on your bum ass x okay they stay they stay in shit that's the energy that i'm picking up they stay they stay in some shit they stay at war it's always drama surrounding them okay now let's go ahead and grab um a tarot card what's the t on my viewers bum ass x whether this is a male or female this person just keeps shit going. Um, we got the fool. Interesting. So this person is very young, immature. Again, they like to get into shit. As you can see, the fool is like the dog is trying to warn the motherfucker. Don't jump off the cliff with it. But they're not paying no mind to the dog. <laughs> like they're not paying no mind. And they're just going on about their life. Da 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 da. And boom. Like the fuck <laughs> again this person is very um almost like a risk taker okay that's the energy that i'm picking up so this person may be um young okay because the fool also represents somebody who's very youthful very young adventurous again i'm getting like like uh immature vibes um when it comes to this uh energy here that's the t on your bum ass x okay um, I feel like maybe this person may mature over time, but I'm getting very youthful, very young energy, very reckless, um, uh, very much so, uh, risk taking type of energy. Okay. That's the T on your bum ass ex. Definitely going to find themselves in a lot of shit. Okay. Cause they don't listen. They're just, you know, doing what they want. They're not listening to it. They, the advice of others. Um, and they keep a lot of shit going. Okay, so yeah, very young and immature. But I'm going to leave it there. That's the message. That's the T on your bum ass X. And it is what it is. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose card four, what's the T on your bum ass X? Ooh, rejected. Interesting. So, I'm getting one or two things. Your ex may have rejected you. Um, or they may be being rejected by someone, okay? Um, interesting. So, let's go ahead and um, grab a tarot card. So spirit can give me some more information. Um, that's the T on your bum ass ex. Uh, they may be even feeling rejected, or they re they're rejecting others. But I I don't know. I'm getting more so. This person may be feeling rejected. We got the moon. Interesting. So this may be something that is hidden because the moon, you know, it's things that we can't see. That's, well, that's at least how I interpret it. Things that may be going on underneath everything. Something that may be hidden. Um, also, the moon talks about emotions. So maybe this person is in their feelings. Your ex may have gotten rejected um, by someone or they may have gotten rejected um, from an opportunity or something of that sort I'm also picking up like emotions so your ex may be in their feelings feeling emotions 
feeling very emotional about being rejected. Um, and this could be, again, when it comes to an opportunity that they may have wanted. They may have gotten rejected. I don't know why I'm picking up like a job or something. Um, somebody, this person being rejected, being blocked from something, being blocked from an opportunity, being rejected from an opportunity um, that could have been for them, that may, could have bettered their situation. Um, yeah. So... I don't know why I'm picking up. Maybe this person has been rejected for a job, job offer, person being rejected, or something of that sort. But whatever this is, I feel like it's under wraps, um, especially with the moon being here. Interesting. Or this also could be that maybe you've been rejected by this person, and I'm hearing... You know, rejection is also your protection. So maybe there could have been some things that were unknown to you about this person. And they may have rejected you. But at the same time, it could have been beneficial to you. Because I'm hearing rejection is God's protection. So maybe God protected you from this person, this loser who, re you know, rejected you, um, maybe ghosted you, but it could have been some things that were not known to you. Um, this person may have had some sort of secrets going on or something hidden with this moon. It's like something, um, isn't what it appears to be. So if you've gotten rejected by this fucking loser, it was for your protection. Because I'm hearing rejection is protection. Rejection is God's protection. Okay? And that's what I'm getting. That's the T on your bum ass X, okay? <laughs> Clock that. So, yeah. That's what I got for y'all. If this one resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. For those of you who chose card five, let's get into it. What's the T on your bum ass X? Ooh, karmic friends. Ooh, this person can't fully trust anyone or them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So your bum ass X is surrounded, surrounding themselves with people who they can't trust. Friends, close family members. Yes, yeah, like they're keeping their enemies close to them, okay? They could be surrounding themselves with a bunch of with a bunch of fake ass people, fake ass friends, fake ass family, okay? Take it however it resonates, but that's the T on your ex. Um yeah, your ex may have a lot of friends who are karmics. Um there's some sort of tension surrounding a group of people again. Your ex may be in competition with their friends. Um, your bum-ass ex, I'm sorry. Your bum-ass ex may be in secret competition with their friends. Your bum-ass ex definitely could be a karmic. And they're surrounding themselves with a bunch of fucking karmic losers, okay? But that's what I'm picking up. Interesting. What's the tea? on your bum ass ex yeah it's like they can't trust they can't fully trust who they're actually spending their time around ain't that some shit okay um we got the two of wands interesting your bum ass ex it's time for them to make some sort of a decision with the two of wands um it's time for them to make a decision to choose a path okay interesting I feel like there's two groups or two people that they might need to make a decision um with this two of wands definitely comes down to making a decision you're at a crossroads needing to choose a path which way do I go maybe there's some plans plans that your bum ass ex may be taking <laughs> 
planning something, planning to take action, planning to make a decision. Interesting. Your bum ass ex could also be trying to make a decision between two karmic people, two karmic friends. Um, there's definitely some sort of planning or decision that needs to be made um, that your that your bum ass ex needs to make when it comes to um, friends. Okay, interesting. What a loser. But anyway, um, that's the message that I have for those of you who chose message, um, I mean, card five, all right? So I'm going to leave it there. Um, if this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. For those of you who chose card six, Let's get into your reading. What's the tea on your bum ass ex? We have, ooh, played out. Interesting. Played out. So, your ex could be played out. Maybe they could be um, feeling like what they're doing is getting played out. Interesting. What's the tea on your bum ass ex? We got the seven of pentacles. Interesting. So, it's, it's like this person, like they've been doing the same thing and like they're not getting anywhere or, yeah, because I'm getting like with this played out energy. And then the seven of pentacles, it's more like somebody needing to have patience. Like, this always gives me a vibe of like, I'm planning, I'm working on building something up or like, yeah, like I'm working on putting in the effort um, to build, to build upon something. But whatever this person is doing, it feels as if like they may feel like what they're doing is getting old really fast and they're getting played out. Interesting. Because for me, the Seven of Pentacles, you know, this is something that you're building. Um, it's like you're working towards building something for long term. Again, but this, it comes with like patience and really persevering and planning. And it's something that's going to take some time because you're building on it, um, putting a lot of effort in. So whatever, yeah, the the T on your bum ass X is whatever they're doing. Um, they just feels like it's just getting old. It's getting played out. Interesting. So maybe they don't have the patience for whatever this is. Um, It's something that they're doing, that they've been doing, and it's like they're still at the same, they're doing it still at the same pace, and they feel like they're not getting anywhere, because whatever they're doing, they, they feel like it's getting played out, whatever this is, because this Seven of Pentacles is about having patience and building on something. Interesting. Wow. So that's the T on your bum ass X. Like they're getting played out. It's nothing. It's nothing new. If they were dull and boring back then, nine times out of ten with this energy, they're still boring and dull. Dull and boring. Boring and dull. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> this one was funny. But um, if this reading or any of these readings resonated with you in any way, y'all already know what to do, honey. Like, 
subscribe, comment down below, share. It is what it is, okay? So anyway, if this reading or if any of these other readings resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.